Hey guys, welcome back to JK Rants and Reviews. I'm John. I'm Caleb. And today we're going to talk about Does Michael Myers Kill Kids? <laughs> that fell. <laughs> and this Michael broke it. He broke it. Bigger sign goes? No. You're good to break the table. Here we go. Mm. Well, real quick, let's go over this real quick. I looked up the definition of a child, and it says uh, below the age of puberty mm. is one of them, and then another mm. one says a child is a human being that is not yet an adult. That's pretty mm. pretty big. I think the puberty thing is probably a better one to go, like preteen and under. I mean, you know, the kids, but they're they're not forming their own educated opinions, maybe? <laughs> uh, or just under the age, like, still an age of innocence. Like, you're not really out looking for things like sex, drugs, music. You're not into the whole rebellious phase yet, where people tend to hit in their uh, teen years. Okay, so yeah, we'll probably say 12 and under, right? Yeah. That's probably fair-ish. I mean, there's some slow yeah, goers and fast runners. Yeah, there's some give or take within a couple of years, but yeah, that's a pretty good age range. Okay, so the very quick answer is yes and no. And so we're going to dive in. I tend to turn on one side, Caleb tends to land on the other. And it's really funny because, I mean, this is... Halloween is both of our favorite horror franchise, I feel like. I mean, you you really love Scream, but I feel like if you had to just select a movie, you would select one of the Halloween films. So, uh, and for me, it is my favorite horror franchise, and I'm going to say, no, he doesn't. Doesn't mean he doesn't try, but the one time that he gets close in my preferred segments of the films, he fails when Jamie calls him uncle awkwardly in a Martha Batman versus Superman moment. So yeah, I go no. Yeah, see, I, I love Halloween just for the lore of it. I mean, Friday the 13th has a lot of lore and stuff too, but Michael Myers and how many movies and each one does a different thing. You know, when you talk Scream, like I can sit there and enjoy it, but the lore, it focuses more on the heroes where you know, I think Halloween focuses more on Michael Myers and like Loomis explaining Michael Myers kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say, okay, so let's go with no for a second. Let's just play this out. So the reasons for no is in the first Halloween, he bumps into Tommy. Tommy's eight years old. He's not interested in Tommy at all. He's only following Tommy because he's trying to get to uh, Laurie Strode, who he's interested in. And then when he stalks Annie, He's not interested in Lindsay, who's in the other room. He just kills Annie and calls it a day. Yeah. Same thing when he attacks at the end. He's not really interested in the children. He's interested in Lori. Yeah, the dudes had multiple attempts, like, or multiple chances to kill children in the, the first film alone. And then as you continue throughout the series, there are children in the series that you're like, well, why wouldn't he? You know, like, look at Halloween 6 with Danny. Like, it just kind of gets weird. Like, there's opportunity, but it's not used. Right. So, well, so then then we go to H2. There's really kids on the street, obviously, but he doesn't really go after them. And there's a scene where he's in the, the uh, uh, uh-oh, nursery <laughs> with the babies. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't even pay attention to them, really. No. Um, so that that's also a good thing towards he does not. Um, I'm going to, in my mind, I skip the Thorn trilogy. For those of you that don't know what that is, that's four, five, six. Uh, more of a fan known. Real quick, that definition is harsh because I think Halloween Four can be with and without the Thorn trilogy. Like you can disconnect Halloween Four from it, in my opinion. Like right, but it, but Halloween Four without the Thorn trilogy is irrelevant like it's pointless it would have been better to end at halloween 2 where he's been shot in the eyeballs and blown up he's not coming back in four we've had this conversation conversation personally and we disagree (laughs) (laughs) i'm right move 
moving on. Okay, well, no, okay, so real quick, the reason why I say I don't, I'm not, in this argument, I'm not going to count the Thorn trilogy, quote-unquote, is because Michael is more of acting on the the cult's uh, behalf. Like, he is uh, a mindless soldier of the cult. Uh, he's not actually uh, a mindless being of evil. So, I, you know, he was after his uh, niece, yes, and then he was after his son which is really weird yes but he wasn't actually trying to kill them he was actually just trying to capture them and then the cult was going to do the rest so that's why i just say i don't really count four or five and six because like if the kid was in his way when he's like driving through the woods in the fifth movie if the kid would have fallen down or been in the way of getting jamie he'd have mowed that kid down but he didn't have to so he did um and then uh real quick let's just fast forward to rob zombies this is not the lore of Michael Myers this is its own thing but I will say in those movies he doesn't really attack children either um, you know he's walking in the house and then there's Lindsay sitting there watching TV standing right behind her does nothing so let's just bypass that the other strongest thing I could say is Halloween H2O when he goes into that bathroom with the mom and the and the child the child's probably six and yeah. right out yeah so that's the strong case for Michael does not kill kids. But on the flip side of that, I'm going to say that he does because Halloween 2018, he kills the kid, but the kid also had a rifle. And with the conversation that he's having with his dad, you can see that he's becoming a more, uh, he's becoming more mature. Like he is choosing a passion dancing over going out with his dad, which is kind of sad too. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm still going to say, if he's in his way, because he didn't have to kill that kid. I mean, he could have just smashed his head up against the, the window and thrown him out of the car, but he snapped his neck. So, I, I got to say, I got to say, this new timeline, I got to say, Michael Myers will kill a kid. Well, of course, in the new timeline, but personally, my my favorite Michael Myers does not kill kids. He just, he, he doesn't... It, I think that honestly, the Jamie storyline was going to wind up something more along the lines of what we saw with uh, like Danny and Halloween six had they been able to actually pull that off after Halloween five. I don't think that he would have killed Jamie. I think he would have tried to like take her somewhere. Well, I, I don't know. I kind of, no, well, it, that's the that's the tough thing is like I mean you could <sighs> we can speculate it's open hey, okay here's what we'll fall back on also like Halloween was never originally intended to be sequels so the original intent of the characters Halloween one John Carpenter did sign on for Halloween two even though it was just based on a fat paycheck which I mean he was getting paid for that first one too so don't get that wrong yeah. but he also was majorly on board for 2018 and he wasn't on board for any other Halloween other than Halloween 3. So I, I, I've got to say that, that Michael Myers kills kids. He, we obviously know he doesn't kill babies, but he'll kill a kid. But that kid was kind of on that, that hill of, you know, I don't know. He, he was on that hill of, I'm going to be a teenager. So, it could go either way, but I'm going to say he will if he if the kid's in his way and opposes any kind of threat. Just like the predator, you know, at the end where it's like no, and he kicks Arnold kicks a gun out of her hand. Uh, you know, he didn't kill you because you weren't armed. You know, there's no sport in it. If, if there's any danger at all, I think that's probably why Michael killed him. But yeah, see, for me, it just it doesn't work because that's part of what makes him more of a threat. Is he's not looking to threaten kids and honestly that was my biggest difficulty with halloween 2018 is when he does kill that that kid like the kid was kind of a threat but the kid was also jumpy he could have just made it away without killing that kid oh yeah he could have yeah like he could have once he slams his head against that window i mean the kid was done he's not getting to that rifle yeah. uh well, yeah but I think also, I mean, you can make an argument that Michael was all pent, you know, after like 20 years of being imprisoned again, he was just ready to do some damage. Yeah. 
I say, yeah, you guys are listening. Opinion or something we missed, make sure and throw it in there. He didn't do it. <laughs> well, I mean, he did do it, though. But he didn't, because it's not the same Myers. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sequel to the 1978. Halloween 2 is a better sequel. Oh, there's a topic right there. We'll get to that eventually. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure and comment down below. Make sure and hit that notification bell so you get some more R&R. &R. Till next time, check it out. So, Halloween 2, still a better movie. <laughs> <laughs>